I felt like absolute. <laughs> Good morning from my nest of pillows. It's Wednesday. I was gonna vlog this entire week for pregnancy vlog, like kind of what it's like right now for my first trimester now that I've announced and the initial shock of being pregnant has worn off. But Monday, I had a lot of energy all morning and three o'clock came and I passed out for two hours. And then I had to like wake up, work out, eat dinner, like get the things I need to do that make me feel better done and then I was I was like tired by seven again and so we just watched Hollywood on Netflix and I went to bed yesterday I think was probably one of the worst days I've had since I have been pregnant I woke up feeling really nauseous and tired I could not get the nausea out of my system normally I like between saltines, eating certain things, and diffusing peppermint oil or spraying my little eucalyptus spray, it, it makes it a lot more manageable and there'll be like ebbs and flows throughout the day. I felt like absolute shit all day and I couldn't sleep because I felt so gross. So I just laid in bed and watched Back to the Future documentaries and then I went downstairs to eat lunch because if I don't eat every two hours, the nausea gets worse. But the last thing I want to do is eat when I feel like that. So it's just this like weird cycle. Came back upstairs because I just couldn't do anything and I just passed out. Um, so I finally got some sleep in the afternoon and then I woke up and I still wasn't feeling good. Normally, I feel better by the end of the night. We got So Chris went and got us um mexican food and he wanted tacos but he ended up getting a chipotle salad not from chipotle but it's like one of our favorite mexican places they have a chipotle salad he likes and i got nachos because it's like comfort food and the only thing that kind of feels good when i feel like that are chips because i was eating salt and vinegar chips because the vinegar kind of like settles my stomach. I know it sounds so weird. I kind of picked out my nachos for dinner and we watched Hollywood again and then I came upstairs and I could not sleep because I was so uncomfortable and hot. Chris was like, you were tossing and turning all night. You kicked Dolly off the bed at one point. Just a rough night, but I feel better this morning. Chris let me sleep in until around 10 a.m which I'm very grateful for that I don't have to be at any events or meetings or, you know, I have to work, but I can kind of do it on my own time right now. So I caught up on some sleep and I feel so much better. So I'm just sitting in bed because I typically wake up, I drink my coffee in bed, I scroll through my phone a little bit, I eat saltine crackers. <laughs> so the first thing I do in the morning to kind of help settle my stomach is immediately eat like three or four saltine crackers. Um, I have cut down my caffeine intake tremendously and all of my coffees are now decaf. I drink a ton of water. Usually I drink the water first, saltines and then coffee and I kind of just sit here and scroll through my phone which is not the healthiest thing just check if there's anything important especially since I wake up later to make sure that there's nothing urgent that I have to reply back to right away Chris is making breakfast now because I can't go too long without eating like a f like a full meal for me which isn't as big as it used to be in the past I used to fast because I wasn't really hungry when I first wake up and I still am not but I would wait until lunchtime to eat, and that would be around 1 to 2 p.m., and then I would eat dinner. Sometimes I would eat breakfast as well. It just depended on how I felt. But when you're pregnant, fasting isn't the best thing for you or the baby, and it really isn't good for you if you are already feeling nauseous. There's just a lot of changes with my diet right now because of how I feel and because of making sure I'm getting enough of the nutrients for our baby. And based on all the research I've been doing, uh, protein is like the biggest thing that women tend to lack when they're pregnant because most of us aren't eating enough protein to begin with. And then on top of that, when you're pregnant, it's now being like more and more found out that 
we actually need way more protein than what the recommended suggestion has been from our obstetricians. Someone I really like uh, that I follow, Lily Nichols. She's a prenatal postpartum dietitian. She's a mom and an author. I really like her because she didn't just stop her education after getting her registered dietitian qualifications. She didn't just go to school, listen to what they said, and then follow those old practices and think that that was going to help her patients. She continued to question everything and she continued to research and she continued to learn. So much of what she does is based on updated information which I think is lacking in the medical field and especially when it comes to nutrition and fitness. She's, I feel like she's one of the rare dietitians out there that didn't just stop at her education and she continues to keep looking and keep asking questions and keep up to date on the latest research and the latest information. I just, I really respect her. I just purchased her book, but I won't be here for a while. Um, Real Food for Pregnancy. She also has Real Food for Diabetes, and then there's like Real Food for Kids. She's written a couple different books, but I always like the way she presents information, and I love that she tries not to present opinions, or beliefs and then the current book I'm reading for pregnancy is expecting better from Emily Oster it's important when you're pregnant to get as much information as you can and make a decision for yourself everyone's different everyone's lifestyle is different everyone's personal goals are different and that's I think the most important thing is to have knowledge and make the best decision for you and your family. So when I found out I was pregnant, I immediately stopped using a lot of products just to be safe, especially for my first trimester. I know there are things that I can technically still use that's safe for baby. The first thing is I wash my face with pretty cold water because I get so hot in the mornings. And this is the Holy Frog Tashmu Water Lily Nourishing Milky Wash. It's just a very gentle wash. Moon Hydrating Rose Toner. And next I'm using this Zatic Nutri Face Serum Rose Hip and Black Seed Oil. This is just a lot of antioxidants and I use that day and night. Same with the rose toner. And I use the Biosan Squalane and Peptide Eye Gel. This I was using before I got pregnant. And for vitamin C, I started using the Ule Henrix Banana Bright Vitamin C Serum, 15% vitamin C. And I only use this during the day. Then for my daily moisturizer, I've been using the Fit Glow Cloud Comfort Cream. This is a new favorite of mine, and I recommend it for anybody who wants a little bit more antioxidants in their skincare. Antioxidants, I think, is something that everyone should incorporate as soon as they can, um, as soon as you start having a skincare routine, maybe not super young, but around your like mid-teens, especially if you live in a sunny climate, antioxidants are great during the day and at night, and especially underneath your SPF. You can always incorporate a vitamin C as you get a little older, just depending on what you're willing to do. I mean, some people don't want a long skincare routine and some people don't mind layering on products. So that's all my skincare, and there's a new SPF I wanted to try from First Aid Beauty Light that I just got in. Um, but typically, I've been using the Color Science Sun Forgettable Total Protection Face Shield in SPF 50. So this is a chemical-free SPF. I've always preferred physical SPFs whenever possible, but especially right now in my first trimester, I'm really focusing on non-nano physical SPF. This is the First Aid Beauty Weightless Liquid Mineral Sunscreen with Zinc Oxide SPF 30. This just came in the mail, so I wanted to try it out. I like that there's a tint because zinc can leave like a white gray cast. It's super lightweight and easy to blend. I really like that. It also got rid of some of the discoloration. I'll keep testing this out, see how it feels, but I'm pretty impressed with that SPF. It's actually a really nice tint that would work on most skin tones, I feel like. I don't do a lot of makeup day to day, but it does help me feel better to do something. I wanted to play with these crayons too. These are the BB Crayon from Oborian. So I think I'm gonna be nude. Let's just 
try this. Oh, I need to wash my hair, but I'm going to work out in a bit, so I'm not going to wash my hair. I have to do my laundry. Like, when I have energy and feel good, I have to get all my chores done. Excuse my bra that's showing. I just got this bra. It's a maternity bra because my boobs hurt so bad, and they're growing. And, like, the only bras that are comfortable right now are maternity bras or really loose bralettes. Something that you should definitely invest in right away are maternity bras in my opinion especially if you're dealing with sore boobs and if you are pregnant in the hotter months because there's no way I can even imagine putting on like a normal bra with padding right now I don't know how to explain it it's just like ugh. and I figured if I buy my maternity bras now I will be able to wear it all through my pregnancy so that's at least nine months and well after my pregnancy because they're also nursing bras so they're easy to nurse so we'll see also they're just so much more comfortable than like normal bras and you're just kind of like why am i wearing normal bras like that I, that looks good that like concealed everything but not super heavy i like i like oh maybe i should use the darker one as a bronzer okay i'm gonna try caramel i feel a little out of breath today too I was having trouble breathing yesterday. It just felt like I was short, shortness of breath. Um, I think it's normal. I'm not that concerned about it. But it, I think it's like part of the heartburn maybe or indigestion. I don't know because I typically don't get heartburn or indigestion. I'm just gonna set everything with my bite powder and I'm in light too. I also need to wash my makeup brushes pretty badly. Same old Elite Cosmetics Brow Balm and Smoke. I've been using this for years at this point. Thrive Cosmetic Instant Brow Fix in Serena. This is all stuff that I've shown a bunch. And today I'm just gonna it's so hot right now so I'm just gonna use the Tata Harper very sweet cheek tint to give my skin a little color I've been really liking this tower 28 super do no shade there's literally no shade to it but if I put it on my cheeks it just gives you this really natural dewy glow and it's not sticky so it's like perfect I love it and then I'm probably gonna just curl my lashes and put some mascara on. I'm using the Lily Lolo. I got mascara all over, so I'm going to wait for it to dry and then I'll take a Q-tip to fix it all up. But that's it. That's me ready for the day. Just makes me feel more put together. Dishwasher's going. What you doing? So I like to join random Facebook groups. Baby! And leave really silly nonsensical comments in people's posts. Yeah, so that's what I'm doing. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so what did you make me? Some scrambled eggs with cheese uh -huh. and, and a hash, hash brown. brown. Yep, and there's also some yogurt with some berries if you want. Troll. <laughs> He's such a troll. This is the unexpected cheddar from Trader Joe's. It's very lovely. Hash browns from Trader Joe's too. Many hours later, I have just been working at the computer. Chris went and grabbed some groceries because we were out of eggs and butter and other like staples. And when he got back, he trained me and we did my first trimester lower body workout which is actually perfect for anybody trying to get fit or wanting to maintain their fitness level while staying at home without a gym no jumping low impact no equipment so we filmed the full guided workout for lead fit which is our health and fitness channel I filmed a quick clip of it for instagram so that should be up already and now i'm gonna walk on my 
crappy treadmill. Just spent all afternoon putting that together. It's crappy because it's a little choppy and it's non-mechanical, which makes it a little scary. It's, but it gets the job done. It does. It's actually really hard and you'll see me start to sweat. because It's a lot harder than it looks. It's just a little choppy and awkward. I'm putting my clean sneakers. These are the ones that we only wear for the garage or on the treadmill. No shoes in the house that aren't garage or treadmill approved. Yeah. Well, I'm Asian, so I grew up that way. I do want to say that this treadmill was just under $200 and it delivered within two weeks of me ordering it, which is unheard of right now in the current situation. We've been looking for a treadmill that was compact and easy to kind of hide because I know that being pregnant, instead of doing a lot of HIIT training for cardio, you want to do more LIS, which is low. What does LIS stand for? Low impact steady state cardio. And so we've been walking around the neighborhood. Unfortunately, our neighborhood isn't very walking friendly after a while because there's no sidewalks. Um, also, it gets really hot. I don't feel safe walking by myself sometimes. So the treadmill is a good option on really hot days or when Chris can't walk three miles with me. I'm gonna record me using this. I like to watch the Kardashians while I do this. Baby, I love you. Why are you trying to break us up? When I'm trying to build it up. I wish I could make you stop. Cause baby, I love you. is making dinner i just finished walking for about 50 minutes i'm gonna take a shower the shower stuff that i've been using for shampoo i pretty much alternate between my lush stuff and this one from rain cry it's the polishing wash which is really nice and ph balanced for your scalp and then the repairing conditioner so i like using it to really like get in there and scrub my scalp or my body wash i have just been using my drunk elephant because it smells like almonds which is so lovely it smells like almonds and then i've been scrubbing my body a ton with like um either the fresh cocoa body exfoliant dermalogica body scrub with grapefruit and white tea i also have a dry brush in there that kind of exfoliates as well so i've been trying to exfoliate a ton just to keep my skin nice and like plump and elastic and then i use shea butter that i purchased in bulk and blended it with mango butter cocoa butter sweet almond oil and jojoba oil i rub that all over my belly uh, stretch marks are said to be genetic so you're either genetically predisposed to stretch marks or not but i figured either way it can't hurt to keep my skin nice and elastic and like tight so i'm gonna shower just washed all of my everyday makeup brushes and my blendiful I ate dinner a little bit earlier after i worked out and showered i had a low carb tortilla from siete with grilled chicken and cheese and it was delicious oh and smashed avocado it was so good it was so basic and plain but it was exactly what i wanted and needed so now i'm gonna go have some dessert a little cake that chris bought me and watch hollywood i also cleaned my vanity wiped it down put all the makeup away i'm thinking about doing a shop my stash series again just because i opened these drawers and realized there's so many things that i just stopped using and forgot about folded all of our towels that took a while honey can i have some cake some cake for me not for you <laughs> <laughs> How amazing was the cake you found for me? Oh my god. It's ridiculous. It's like stupid good. It's like, a, I have a piece, that's how good it is. It's a cookies and cream. Unfortunately, I've been like the worst influence on Chris because he's still trying to stay keto. What was that? I don't know. Oh, the coffee fell out of the thing. I did really, really good with the first cake that you picked up from Trader Joe's. Didn't touch it. This one, however, let me just show you. Here's the thing. When you sent me the photo and asked if I wanted this, it didn't look that good, but then you you eat it and it's like It's best, unreal. Like it's the best thing ever. It, Did you get it at Whole Foods? Whole Foods. So let me show you the lid. Oh, well, I'm sorry. 
<laughs> Someone destroyed the label. Yeah, it's a little hard to get into. Um, but it's called Cookies and Cream, and you found it in the refrigerator section? No, I found it in the bakery section, but it was in a... Um, in the refrigerator part. Yeah, the refrigerator part. Oh, and we have a new ice cream to test out. Oh, cool. Nyx. Chance. This is for me, not for you. Look how big he's gotten, guys. Are you a big boy now? Look at those ears. 